Hi, and welcome to another Type With Me. In this episode, we'll see how we can use Nest.js framework to build out our backend TypeScript uh, application. Let's see how we can do that. Nest.js has a great website, uh, which gives uh, great documentation on how to use it and how to build scalable server-side applications. You definitely need to check that out. So first of all, we will install Nest.js globally. For one or another reason, I need to do an alias Nest with a path to uh, the binary of Nest. I don't know why, but uh, I found this solution on the internet. And now I can do nest new type with me. So with this, we create a new project, which is called type with me within nest. So let's do that. We will create a lot of um, files and it will ask you also some questions. So you can choose if you want to use yarn or npm. I'm going to choose npm. And now we're going to install uh, all the packages uh, that he needs. So um, this can take a while. Before we wait on that, we can just look into uh, our project. And there we see that we have app.module.ts. And if you are familiar with Angular, you know that app.module.ts is very familiar for you, right? So a lot of um, a lot of things that are that, that we are used to within Angular are being applied to Nest. Um, so we have also here service, which is an injectable, right? And that's also like we knew within Angular. And we have our main.ts where we bootstrap our Nest uh, application. Same with the controller. We have your controller. So when we're going to navigate to our root, we will get a uh, get hello from our service. Our service is here and it returns hello world. And then of course, we have our tests, which tests out um, our controller. When we now go to uh, folder, Can run npm run start to start our project. So here we see that we have app.listen3000, so we can go to localhost3000. So when we go to localhost3000, we get hello world, which is great, right? So imagine we want to create a new Controller gets gets controller.ts and there we put our code where we have a get and here we have uh, cats so we can go to localhost 3000 slash cats and then it will return this action returns all cats right then of course here we need to um add our controllers to our add module we'll save our cats controller i'm gonna restart our server And when I go to, we will see that we have this action returns all cats. 
You can also very easily uh, work with pet variables. So I'm going to work with pet variables here. I'm going to put everything here. I'm going to add params to add nestjs slash common and this will allow us to provide that parameter right now when we restart our server and then go to slash one two three for example you have this action returns a one two three get so another thing that i said before is the app dot service dot ts right which is just a service it's injectable and if we go to our app control we see here that we have a constructor private read only app service so uh, when you uh, have a service and you want to have access to that service uh, in the controller you just add it to the constructor and you can uh, access it and do nice things with it right i'm not going to go in a lot of detail with that because it's quite similar if you are familiar with angular for example then this makes a lot of sense right so guards can also be uh, created uh, within nest so you have an HTTP request and you have a guard and then you have your route handler. So for that, we can create an injectable service, which implements can activate. It's quite similar, like we know within uh, Angular, right? So Nest is very much um, inspired by Angular. So when you are familiar with Angular, you will be getting familiar with uh, Nest, not GS. And then here we have at use guards roles guard to put a guard on your cats controller. Definitely check out what you can do with uh, with Nest. One of the other things that's very nice is middleware, so you can create your own middleware, and it's also an injectable lower middleware which implements Nest middleware, right? I hope you enjoyed this video, happy coding with Nest and see you next time, bye!